Hey everybody, so it's Monday the 8th of February and I just wanted to give you your weekly update. First off, last Friday we had our prerequisite review from Alex due at 3 p.m. And I'm so happy with how many of you went in there and did it and even got like all the way through everything. That's wonderful. That's a really good strong start to the semester. Little statistics there to help motivate you. I like numbers, so um, if you're like me, maybe this will help you keep up the momentum. So the Thursday class had an astonishing 74% average, okay? That is really good because there were a few people who started class right on Friday. And um, so of course they probably didn't have a chance to do the Alex check yet, but um, so an average of 74% is really, really good. And as a whole class, 27% of this week's new material is already done and it hasn't even started. Our weeks technically start on Tuesdays, but I like to send out the video to update you about what's going on on Mondays just to keep you in the loop. And um, so that's really good, 27% of the way done already. Tuesday has even better results. So Tuesday, you guys had an 84% class-wide average. You didn't have anybody joining class Friday, so that helps, but 84% on our prerequisite review is a, is a great return. Many, many, many of you got 100% in both classes, which is so great. It sets you up to be successful for the rest of the semester, and I'm really excited about that for you. Also, Tuesday, you're 47% of the way through the topics for this week already. Like, wow, that's amazing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to send out emails this afternoon, this evening, maybe tomorrow morning, those time frames with specific office hours or tutoring yeah. sessions that are going to be topic focused. So if you're stuck on, let's say, the difference between precision and accuracy, which is a lot of us, um, or if you're stuck on sig figs or, you know, whatever topic you're struggling with, I'm going to try to group you all. So you're working on the same kinds of topics and we'll break out into little sessions. Remember that is part of your course grade, part of like the participation piece. Okay. If you cannot make it to any of the office hours or tutoring hours, send me an email. Okay. Uh, I am happy to meet with you at other times and we can work it out. Okay. Our tutors are also quite flexible in their timing. So jump into Discord and ask Kristen or Keegan and they'll be happy to make a different time for you if we need to, okay? Um, so look in your email. I'm gonna let you know what I think you would benefit from attending um, some learning sessions about. This week in class, I'm gonna do the same thing. Right before class, I go in and I see what is the vast majority of the class struggling with and then we're going to do an activity. The activity is typically graded, so you do need to come and do it. Um, Frequently, we have the answers before we leave class that day. So it's really just grading your participation. Um, but it's active learning. So you're going to want to come having sort of some idea of what's going on this week, OK? So you might look at the Alex topics for the week. You might think about any questions you have that are lingering from the prerequisite review. You could bring those up as well, that kind of thing, OK? The only assignments you have this week are our weekly journal articles, which I made a link for you guys directly. It was harder to find. So I made a link directly in our Blackbird course. And I'm going to show you that. All right. And so here you click on journal and like for last week, there's a link right here. And about half of you have done this for last week. If you haven't done it yet, it'd be great to jump in there and just answer some questions. Remember that journals are between me and you. They're a way for you to connect with me and me to connect with you. And it's also a really good way for us to talk about how topics apply to your life, okay? And so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do that. Many of us have not yet posted in the discussion post from last week. So just go ahead and jump in and introduce yourself. I responded to everybody who had posted, I think maybe Thursday or Friday. Um, and I'll be responding to anyone who's posted since then, but go ahead and jump in. This is your chance to meet each other. Um, we're gonna be working together quite a lot. So, um, so go in, make friends, okay? Um, it's a hard thing to do during COVID, so I'm trying to give you the opportunity to do that. So those, those are from last week. This week you'll have only a new journal post. I'm not gonna do a discussion post week two. Um, because the material doesn't lend itself to that, essentially, the things we're learning this week. Uh, if I make a discussion post, everyone's just going to agree. Like, 
you know, that's boring. I like to do discussion posts that are more interesting. Oh, speaking of interesting, fun fact of the day. Today is Dmitry Mendeleev's birthday. He, of course, is the inventor of the modern periodic table, not the only periodic table. Um, and if you're interested in periodic table trivia, I have a ton of it. But uh, yeah, so the one that we typically see, this one here, is derived from Dmitry Mendeleev, and today's his birthday. So it's also International Periodic Table Day. Um, I'm gonna try not to nerd out too much about that. Maybe you're not interested. If you are, come talk to me, I super love it. Okay, um, of course, we're gonna learn more about the, the development of the periodic table as we go through the chapters as well. So you're gonna have the journal and then um, we're gonna have just our Alex objective this week, okay? So of course that link is gonna be in the same place. Now I've had some questions about like, how is the course supposed to work, right? What am I being graded on? All I'm grading on this week is, did you do a journal of posts of some sort to me? Um, and completing the Alex objectives for the week. So that's your primary focus. In order to help you reach that goal of completing all the objectives by Friday at 3 p.m., there's tons of office hours, our tutors are waiting for you, and there's all kinds of supplemental material to go in and and look at. So I'm going to be organizing our Blackboard site to be a little bit um, as straightforward as I can make it. If you have suggestions, feel free to let me know. But right now in our course documents, we have some videos that are about some of the topics in objective one. And I'm gonna pull these together so they're in order. So it'll say objective one and then all those videos will be right underneath it. The way I've designed all of my videos is basically you would you would want to have access to the lecture notes, whether you print them or you have a tablet you can write on or something, you're gonna want the lecture notes. And then you kind of wanna be thinking about these videos as a chance to actively engage with the material. So just watching me do problems is not gonna help you. The best approach is to take those, those notes right here, print them out. I gave you the instructions for that um, last week. All of the information from last week is now um, collected at the bottom of your screen under week one archived. So you can find the instructions for how to print the notes, how to print all of the notes. So you should go to the learning commons and just get it done. Um, same for your lab procedures. But anyway, so you want to have the notes handy and then you want to watch the video and kind of fill in the notes and they may not go in the same order. So uh, be patient, please. I know it's a little frustrating, but I can't spend 200 hours remaking the videos uh, again. Um, so some of the things in there will say like we have an assignment due, ignore that. This video and the listing that I put right at the top of course documents in Blackboard is what I am currently doing. The course has evolved over the last year, as you might imagine, as we go through this pandemic together. So uh, while I might say in the content videos something like go complete this thing, it probably doesn't exist, okay? Uh, I try to simplify the course where we are focusing on the most important parts, which for this week is posting, getting our objectives in Alex and posting a journal article, okay? For lab though, this is the first uh, time we have split up. So last week, everybody did the same thing. This week, we're gonna be having two different paths essentially. So if your lab instructor has assigned you to group A, then you are in the lab this week. Don't forget to sign up for a COVID test, okay? Amanda Roy Smalls sent the email. Small, not Smalls. I always wanna make an S on that and I don't know why. Anyway, look in your email for Amanda Roy Small and you can schedule the COVID test. I think they are on Tuesday. It doesn't matter what day of the week you come in for lab, you gotta have that test scheduled Tuesday, okay? Um, for group A, you are working, gonna have a safety quiz this week and you are working on the experiment trace contamination. You're gonna to wanna to print it out before you come to lab. There's a pre-lab you need to turn in. Each lab instructor is probably handling that differently. In general, you complete the pre-lab in your lab notebook, and then you're gonna turn in your yellow sheet as soon as you get to lab. There aren't any late pre-labs because these are things you really need to do before you come in. So you're expected to read the lab procedure, have it printed out, have your lab notebook and all of that stuff, and be ready to go. If you don't have supplies, email me 
or your lab instructor or Kate Polivka. She's our uh, lab tech. Her email is kpolivka at mbcc.edu. We have access to supplies to loan you. It's not a big deal. Even lab notebooks, we have a few of those that were donated. Okay, so that's lab for A. In group B, you are staying at home and you're gonna use the data that you gathered last week to learn how to use Excel or Google spreadsheets. I highly recommend planning to come see either me or your lab professor sometime this week to go over Excel. It's a tough thing to learn on your own. We, we would prefer to be able to do it in a computer lab where everybody is doing it together. Um, I would also encourage you to find like a study group because that can help you get through that kind of a experiment as well. I put a whole bunch of video links in both the trace contamination experiment and the uh, data analysis with spreadsheet experiment. And you should definitely take a look at them. Some of them are really, really helpful. For trace contamination, the pre-lab videos are required or you might not finish on time. Okay, I hope that keeps you on track, but if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to reach out, come see me in office hours, um, shoot me an email, come into Discord. If you have not enrolled in our Discord yet, go click on the syllabus in Blackboard and click on the Discord server. People are asking lots of great questions and getting a lot of great help there. Um, and participation there helps to boost your grade in, uh, in overall participation throughout the course. If you have any difficulties, reach out, let me know. Have a great week, guys.